This is what the Costello family's hot tub sounded like that first time we visited. Bearings are going out. It was in need of a new motor, something the Costellos had paid this man, Rick Harvey, $500 for but never saw him again. Funk Score Problem Solvers knew all about Rick Harvey. We tracked him down before, after multiple customers accused him of taking their money and never doing the work. But what made this scam particularly loathsome was the Costellos had received the hot tub from Make-A-Wish to help their son, who has Angelman Syndrome. It robs him of his ability to walk and speak. Come on, Rick, how low can you go? Knowing that both police and prosecutors have never been able to stop Harvey, who's been pulling this scam for years, problem solvers sought out our own solution. Even before our original story aired, we contacted Pepper's Pool and Spa in nearby Gladstone, who said they'd be happy to help for free. It hurt to think that somebody had been ripped off. Kim Goldsbury family has owned this hot tub business for nearly 30 years. She immediately sent her technician John to the Costello's home. What John did is he went out there, he took a pump with him at the time, looked at it, said yes, this pump is going to work. He replaced it. It's working great. Nice and quiet. Sherry Costello says her son has already been able to use it several times. She said she never expected the outpouring of help. Because it had gotten to a point where we thought maybe nobody, nobody cared. Not only did Pepper's Pool and Spa come to the rescue, at least three other companies also offered their services. Contact, we were contacted by someone in Colorado that was willing to drive out here and help us. But thanks to a local company, the Costello Spa is back in perfect order. Pepper's has a new customer. Unbelievably enough. The Costellos continue to get text messages from that disgraced spa repairman, Rick Harvey. He continues to promise the Costellos he'll deliver them a new motor as soon as he can. It's been more than two months. No thanks, Rick. Just give them their money back. Linda Wager, Fox 4 Problem Solvers.